Yes, and welcome back on the touchline on to our first segment of the interview. And we are pleased to have members of the national boxing team. That's the hit squad. They did participate at this year's Africa Boxing Championship and came up with a stellar result, winning one gold, two silver, and four bronzes to be ranked third amongst 25 countries that did participate in this year's edition of the championship. And with me on set, I'll introduce them, beginning on my immediate right. That's Dan Kankuria, a.k.a. Sugar Ray. He is the communication director for the Boxing Federation of Kenya. Karibu sana, Duncan. Amina Martha Bantam, she did win bronze in Kinshasa, Karibu Amina. And of course, Bonfest Mugunde, the captain of the Heat Squad, also the uh, gold medalist, light middleweight in Kinshasa, Karibu, Boni. And of course, Clinton Masharia, good story for you, did win silver on debut, Karibuni. Yes, man. And then can maybe we can talk about, begin by talking about the main catalyst for this improved performance at the Africa Championship. I think the main catalyst is just the preparation that we had as a team and uh, ensuring that we have a good mix of experienced and uh, upcoming youngsters. And uh, <coughs> when you work with uh, that combination of experience and youngsters, mm -hmm. then of course there's a bit of motivation where you have the champions, the likes of Amina Martha, mm -hmm. Boniface Mugunde, mm -hmm. inspiring the likes of Clinton. Uh -huh and others who are there because we had four boxers who are doing their international debut mm -hmm. and the other eight were a bit experienced mm -hmm. so i think that mix was a very good one for us and also the training that we had as a team also came in good for us because uh, again we were disadvantaged because we finished number three mm -hmm. overall mm -hmm. which was a very good good performance mm -hmm. which was improved because last time like you clearly said we had finished that uh, 17th in the last edition in Yaounde. But this time round, we were a bit disadvantaged because we were competing against big nations. Morocco and uh, DRC had 25 team members. So those are 25 slots for medals. Mm -hmm. But us, we had a smaller team of two of 12. So uh, we were a bit disadvantaged, but with the small team that we had, we performed very well to our standards, and I was happy with the performance of the team. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love the Matoke ambayo ulipata ni yale ambayo ulitarajia? Ah, uh, binafsi la. Naweza sema kuna zile favoritism kidogo but tunashukuru kwa ile tulipata. Mm -hmm. yeah. And for you, uh, what does this bronze mean to you? Uh, it's a symbolism of my hard work and all that, but I was hoping to come with better than this. It was cut short but uh -huh. Next time we'll get here. Uh -huh. mm. uh, Boni, um, I remember watching your interviews Wakati wa, when the championship was ongoing, right? And you said that one of the maybe the biggest moments was when you played an opponent from the host country, right? And the advice from the coach really made you, uh, like it changed the game for you, right? And at what point maybe did the gold become more possible and clearer for you? First of all, I want to thank God for this gold. <coughs> this was my dream, uh, to get this gold and just to see, the, to, to, to hear that uh, the national anthem of Kenya playing mm -hmm. because of this, mm -hmm. it was a blessing from above. So it was something uh, that uh, made me feel uh, uh, much happier and, and positive to know that there's nothing that is impossible, everything is possible. Mm -hmm. So it's all about hard work, it's all about the dedication and the everything is possible. Uh -huh. yeah. Now maybe kwako na kwa niaba ya team, your gold ina manisha nini? Your gold ina manisha kitu kubo kwa sabo hii ni team work. Kisi hii hati ni mimi peke yangu. Mm -hmm. This is team work. Mm -hmm. Tulikuwa tuna work pamoja mm -hmm. kama team. Tulikuwa tuna tuwa na makosa. Tulikuwa tuna advice yana. Mm -hmm. So hii neza sema ni team work. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is not me. This is team work. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Clinton, uh, what, a, what a story for you. Uh, before uh, before the um, games in Kinshasa, before the Africa Championship, yeah. was Clinton? Uh, just an ordinary boxer. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Ordinary boxer na manisha nini? Just a uh, participant kwa super heavy. Uh -huh. Yeah. Until what, until moment gani ili happen? Ukona, maybe they picked you uh, uh, to the hit squad now. Uh, Kimine as a sema waliona naweza kuwa capable bila kuchukua hiyo the gold medal but haikuenda as planned but 
because ilikuwa na face mtu mwenye yuko more experienced but hopefully next time more better results mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. expected yes and uh, then um, maybe to the stories of like uh, uh, clinton yes. what does it mean and maybe you can just add more eh una joni hard mtu kujiongelea ah it was a uh, it was still a performance from all of them mm -hmm. uh, i don't know whether it's an advantage or advantage use my roommate <laughs> so <laughs> so <laughs> so he, maybe he got he got more inspiration <laughs> uh <coughs> but uh he had a, a very tough journey mm -hmm. because he was starting with a homeboy mm -hmm. and uh the crowd was psyched the congolese i think they mobilized the crowd just to come and support their people <laughs> and somehow that noise was disturbing him because you know when you are playing away and uh, the crowd is against you you really have to fight hard until you make them quiet so when you they keep quiet they you know you are you're winning but again the the boxer was a never say die kind of opponent you know you you are beating him and he's coming he's not giving up so it was a tough fight for him uh, but he executed very well he was very sharp with his punches running away hitting and running and i think that was a very good performance for him but i think the toughest fight he had was the semi final against morocco uh, the guy from Morocco is very experienced, somebody I have seen since the last Olympic qualifier, 2020. So I knew, even I told him that uh, in my mind, whoever wins that fight is the one who will win the gold. Uh, and thankfully, he went and executed. Uh, even before the fight, I went uh, when Mogunta was playing, before he played, the guy, the Morocco guy came first. So I just took it upon myself to go and record his fight, the Moroccan fight. Recording for him because I knew he will need that to see how the guy fight. He was fighting against Tanzania. Mm -hmm. The Tanzania guy was not that sharp and not the same quality as Boniface. So I thought from that you are going to learn the strength of the Moroccan, which you can use against him in his fight. And that's exactly what we did. And when we won that one, then I was so, I was so confident that you are going to win this gold. Uh, the final was tough but not as tough as the semi-final, I would say, for Mugunde. Uh, for Clinton, it was a different story because in his first fight, he was fighting a boxer from Angola, and the guy was a giant. And uh, at some point, I, you know, the guy, the guy was, use, was scaring him in the dining hall. Uh -huh. You know, when he's coming and he's looking down upon him like this. He knew he'll face him. Yeah, uh -huh. if you know when the draw happens, yes. then you know who is your opponent. Yeah, yeah. So now the body, the body language is now speaking in the in the hotel. Oh yeah, yeah. So the guy was somehow trying to intimidate him. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember there is one day he even disappeared from our team. We went for to watch the bouts and he was in his room. Mm -hmm. And when we asked him why he was he didn't come for the fight, he uh -huh. told us he was having a meeting with himself uh -huh. to, to, <laughs> to decide how he's going to fight <laughs> the whole day. <laughs> now we were asking him. In your meeting, <laughs> what did you do? You know, <laughs> like, did you watch the person, the guy, how the guy fights? <laughs> he said no. Mm -hmm. So you are wondering exactly how was he planning to fight mm -hmm. now that he had a meeting with himself and, and the opponent seemed to have scared him. <laughs> but uh, again, now he told her <coughs> he was trying to compose himself uh -huh. so that he comes down when it comes the fight time, he be ready. And uh, that fight, uh, the first round, that guy got two counts. <laughs> And you are disappointed with him because he could have finished the fight. Yeah, the first sure. Round. Adapt, yeah. It's only that he doesn't have that experience. Mm -hmm. But you see now, once you get two counts, mm -hmm. eight counts, mm -hmm. you only need to give another th one count, and the game ends. Yeah, yes. So he wasn't that sharp to push to finish that fight. Mm -hmm. But I think he performed very well. Mm -hmm. uh, he also executed very good footwork mm -hmm. after that because he was trying to avoid the heavy punches from the Angolan. Mm -hmm. And the Angolan also could not believe that he's losing to a Kenyan. Mm -hmm. So it was a very good fight. Uh, for Amina, uh -huh. Amina was very disappointed because, you know, Amina won, bo won bronze in mm -hmm. the Africa Games. Mm -hmm. And when she was going to this uh, Africa Championship, mm -hmm. she was confident enough that she can win that gold medal. Unfortunately, due to poor officiating, mm -hmm. uh, I think they just robbed her. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a home girl, uh, and it was a very unfortunate scene because now again in boxing we don't have appeal mechanism. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. you think a decision goes against you, there's nothing you can do. So we just took it 
had mm -hmm. but we believe that uh, Amina should have gotten a better medal than what she did but nevertheless I think it's good that she came home with a medal we say a bronze is better than nothing even though you know wha always the saying is that gold is better than silver silver is better than bronze bronze is better than nothing mm -hmm. so sure. being that she got a bronze medal I think it's a good medal for her to show because <coughs> it shows also consistency in terms of winning international mm -hmm. medals, mm -hmm. which I think is yeah. good. Yeah. And uh, going into the future, it mm -hmm. also means that mm -hmm. she has raised her game mm -hmm. and her expectation is much higher. Mm -hmm. Because you see now when you have a boxer mm -hmm. who is getting disappointed that she's winning a bronze medal, mm -hmm. it's a good sign for mm -hmm. us. It's mm -hmm. somebody who wants to mm -hmm. fight for mm -hmm. those higher medals, mm -hmm. gold and silver, mm -hmm. which I think uh, going forward, mm -hmm. it's a way to go for the entire team, not just one person. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, we have a very good chance of doing better when we come to these other assignments that are coming in the future. Only that we will ask, we like to get more opportunities so that we give them that exposure mm -hmm. to be able to compete against the best in the continent and maybe in the world. Yes. Um, Amina, maybe from uh, the ex uh, experience of the Africa Championship, what, how do you pick up, how do you move forward now? Like in Yakam and Stephenson, mm -hmm. for them maybe you are not on um, the team. Yes, I was disappointed, but in a we made a little motivation. Mm -hmm. Now I'm working to get better and prove that I can have the, be the best medal. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Setting the eye on what next, Sasa? Um, yeah, what, what, what's coming up next? What maybe target Yakonigani, Sasa? Uh, target ni, ni win medal in the women world women championships. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, Boni, your game against uh, in the final against Nesta, the Burundian uh, opponent split point decision. I mean, uh, how did it get to the to the end of it all? What what really carried you to to get the victory? Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, the, uh -huh. the coaches because their advice. When you listen to their advice. Perform, uta, uta, uta fanya better. Uh -huh. uh, the Burundian was uh, had a hard had, had punches. Uh -huh. he, uh, to me punch Zito. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. he was strong. Uh -huh. So I was just told just just play your game. Uh -huh. Play the, the game that you, you, you play. Just uh, move. Uh -huh. Touch, move, touch, move. So uh -huh. I went with that game. Uh -huh. When I had a game plan, I was just touching, moving, touching, moving. So yo kitu ka frustrated my opponent in frustrate kwa sababu alikuwa anajua na yeye anakuja ku 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 nipiga ama ku tumio nguvu eh so i was just touching moving touching moving first yo game ikakuja hata ikakuwa rahisi eh ilikuja ikakuwa rahisi just touching una move una move na na fikra hiyo ndio ilikuja ikam frustrate na hiyo ndio ikanipatia ushindi being a gold winner and kwa hii championship unaweza semaje about the level of competition having been there before uh, but the winning a uh, winning a gold and you know mtu of kwanga is something hard something hard nimeona nikakuja nimeona ni enyo it's single uh -huh. it's not hard to win uh, a gold medal uh -huh. as long as uh, you have that that uh, faith in your heart uh -huh. as long as you have trained mm -hmm. kama this round to meet in poa sana to meet in poa zoezi ilikuwa vizuri yani tumeenda game kama una skill una nguvu it was so nice so uh -huh. tulikuwa na hiyo confident hata ungesikia any news yenye tulikuwa tunaongea walikuwa nakuja wanatupatia nini nilikuwa tuna that confident nilikuwa nawaambia i have so much faith i have so much hope and i know that we are going to perform well uh -huh. we are going to perform better uh -huh. than uh, the, the other the the other editions so, yeah. so i had i had hope and nilikuwa najua pia gold itakuja si kwa najua mimi ndo leta gold <laughs> but nilikuwa na imani gold itakuja <laughs> eh, so, so when uh, ulipojua ni when ndo unaleta gold so vile nileta gold nilishukuru Mungu sana <laughs> nilishukuru sana sana kwa sababu eh, yes nyo si kwa najua mimi ndo leta but i had hope in gold itakuja na ilikuwa kitu nzuri sana ni vile nilikwambia ukisikia national anthem inalia mm -hmm. eh, kwa sababu ya yako ama kwa sababu ya ya, ya, ya Kenya mm -hmm. you, you, it's something so nice mm -hmm. something so nice dedication to to the country to the team or to, to the some, to who to the to the country to everybody to my family to <laughs> everybody <laughs> yeah. that's your first goal at Africa championship so this is my first goal na sia mwisho 
na si ya mwisho kwa hiyo imenipatia motivation hii inanipatia inanipatia hiyo nini ya kwenda nyumbani ku work very hard have you come from ghetto boxing your way up yeah Ah, uh, yeah, to chain, so to meet to pole pole. Mm -hmm. it's, all, it's all about not giving up. Mm -hmm. It's all about not giving up. It's mm -hmm. all about discipline. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all about focusing. Uh, you just have to have those things in boxing. Come on, a discipline. Come mm -hmm. on, focus. Come on, you don't train. You're nothing. Mm -hmm. Consistency. Uh, uh, and, and, and and you must you must put God first. Yeah, believe in Him. Believe in God. Clinton, when we'll focus on your first game, right? I uh, mwana unajua ile, uh, ile distance ya kutoka kwa dressing room paka kwa ring when they, like you're going for your match uh, mostly most of the boxers they stay focused unajua kimwangalia match wana stay focused alafu ni kama ako switched on unajua um, how was it for you in your first game having known ilikuwa pia una debut kwa hit squad for the first ulikuwa debut kwa hit squad uh, kwenda kwa ring huwa si ngumu but on the changing room akondo kile kitu uoga tension eh but as you naendelea umetanda kwa ring just start playing and for you maybe uh boxing yako ilikuwa umeanza wapi maybe you can just briefly talk about vile ile kama eh nimeanza na coach kwa kwa late kinudia yeah so kutoka hapo nikakuja prisons kibra mm -hmm. and then kenya police now mm -hmm. eh, so hapo ndokuwa the two training hapo ndo kuna training ya kweli za kabisa mm -hmm. uh -huh. and now uh umeshinda umeshinda silver <coughs> on your first time or first skin uh ina make maybe you want more or what what should now happen next bado sijamaliza still niko na aim ya gold mm -hmm. Yeah, the next upcoming <coughs> game. It's really gani, but still any high. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. And uh, Sugar, maybe let's talk about something else here. It's about um, the Olympics and, and, and boxing, right? And as, as it is right now, it looks like it will be the mandate of either the uh, the National Olympic Committees, you know, the country's local com Olympic Committees, and uh, the respective boxing federations, Ambazo has a Wamuzi to decide where next, yeah. especially after IOC and IBA <coughs> taking time to resolve the outstanding issues. Yeah, there's a serious problem there. Mm -hmm. A very serious problem. Because uh, <coughs> the IOC has made a decision kicking out IBA from the Olympic family. And now, where it has gotten is that. Uh, IOC wants boxing at the Olympic mm -hmm. to be under a different organization called World Boxing. Mm -hmm. Apparently, World Boxing mm -hmm. was part of IBA until 2022 mm -hmm. <coughs> when we did our election in uh, Istanbul. Mm -hmm. And the person who was defeated during that election, no, actually, the person was not defeated. He was disqualified mm -hmm. because of early campaigns. Uh, it's Boris von der Vost. The, he was then the president of Holland National uh, Boxing Federation. <coughs> so what happened is that uh, Boris went and formed a different organization called World Boxing. And now, somehow, World Boxing seemed to be working well with IOC. And I have seen communication to the effect that uh, IOC wants national federations mm -hmm. to work with work with world boxing so it becomes a bit tricky because now it's like they are going to make it a condition that if you associate with IBA you don't box in the Olympics. They actually wrote letters to the national to the Olympic committees. Did yes. the BFK receive a letter from? Yes you have seen those communications. Uh, to me I'm thinking those communications are uh, quite unfortunate mm -hmm. because now you're trying uh, you're trying to tell us to choose between the two international federations mm -hmm. uh, apparently like i've told you i know the genesis mm -hmm. of the bo of both the international federations mm -hmm. and one has just you know has just formed itself within the last two years and it, uh, it doesn't even have more than 55 members mm -hmm. i think now it's when they have about 51 members africa so far has only three countries that has moved to world boxing so <coughs> it's a bit a uh, situation of wait and see what happens 
but I'm imagining it's going to get worse before it gets better. Uh -huh. uh, but going forward, I'm expecting there is going to be some sense of agreement between IOC and maybe IBA or mm -hmm. World Boxing. Mm -hmm. But it will be good for me, in my opinion. It will have been good if they allow boxing, you know, like if even if they agree that World Boxing should take charge mm -hmm. of boxing at the mm -hmm. Olympics, mm -hmm. then they don't put it as a condition that if you associate with IBA, IBA yes. then you can't box in the Olympics. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I think that is uncalled for. Uh, but I'm hoping it's part of the negotiations that are going to take place mm -hmm. so that in future we do not have a situation whereby majority of national boxing federations that belong to IBA, IBA yes. are now stopped from participating in the Olympics for reasons that are not you know, good enough. They, they seem it's just a, a lot of sports politics. Mm -hmm. But I'm hoping a solution is going to be found. So far, it's very unfortunate that the last two Olympics have been organized by IOC, IOC mm -hmm. Boxing Task Force. Mm -hmm. But going forward, we are hoping for a solution as we go into LA 2028. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm hoping when the qualif qualification for the 2028 starts, boxing is going to be in the Olympic calendar mm -hmm. and we are going to have representation. For us, I think as a federation, it's only a matter of us keep to keep working, prepare ourselves so that when that time comes, we don't have a situation like we had this time where IOC came up with rules that were not very favorable to us. Because when you look at the quota system the quota that system, they put yes. in place, mm -hmm. it was not favorable to Africa mm -hmm. at all. We only had uh, slow, seven slots for men in Africa mm -hmm. during the Africa qualification, which is only gold mm -hmm. per weight mm -hmm. for men, which is very tough. Yes. Uh, and you see now, like for the weight of Boniface Mugunde, light like middleweight, it was so loaded. In one championship, they had 74, mm -hmm. 74 boxers. Mm -hmm. You know, that's like an entire championship. The local league that we do here, those are the kind of numbers we do. That is one weight, and they only, they only have four tickets. Mm -hmm. So the qualification system was not easy, mm -hmm. but I'm hoping going forward we are going to have some form of agreement at the top level, mm -hmm. whereby the IOC and uh, IBA or World Boxing, whoever will take charge of boxing, provides a favorable ground for boxing to grow mm -hmm. at every in every country so that every national federation uh, ensure that there's some growth of boxing and we also don't uh, inhibit our boxers from participating in different mm -hmm. international tournaments mm -hmm. that already exist mm -hmm. and i think that that way i think it's going to be good for the boxers because at the end of the day we need to take the interest of the boxers at heart when you're making yes. some of these decisions yes. Yes. so that boxers are not disadvantaged in any way mm -hmm. because the leadership wrangles between IBA uh, and uh, IOC, IOC mm -hmm. and World Boxing, mm -hmm. I think those ones can be put aside and we put the interest so, yeah. of our boxers in front yes. and we push to, uh, forward with that and I think that way I think mm -hmm. you're going to have a solution. Yes. Um, um, Amina, and maybe just as we wind up, uh, the future provide you with the hope that you will achieve your goals uh, moving forward and what's now like what you're going for. And maybe you're thinking of getting into uh, coaching one day, opening up a boxing center for the girls somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I would say the future is bright. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, my, aim, most, my major aims, two, I have two major aims. Yes. One, to get a, a good medal in the World Women's Championship uh -huh. and then go for the Olympics. Uh -huh. Those are my two major goals. Now, and, and I know I'm going to achieve them very soon. And in future, I don't think I'll venture into coaching, but I'll do something sports. So I, I have something I have to do sports related but not coaching not coaching yes. right building up a center uh boni for you <laughs> um you know the dreams the dream of every boxer is to be in the olympics uh -huh. yeah that is my dream too uh -huh. one day my prayer that one day i'll be i'll represent kenya in the olympics and i believe it will it is possible uh -huh. so that's my dream and uh, about aminas uh, about the coaching uh -huh. i don't know about that well, just leave it uh, <laughs> <laughs> when time comes yeah, yeah. when the time comes uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. and uh clinton the journey just began yeah. uh -huh. uh, dream is to participate in the olympics uh -huh. and uh, what i really need the most is for the flag to be raised at the olympics uh -huh because of my name 
Yeah, that's my dream uh -huh. since I was a young boy. Yes. Yeah, that's what I always want. For the national anthem to be sung and everybody's on their feet. Yeah. I, I don't know what goes on in people's mind at that time. What was going on in your mind, um, <laughs> Boni? Wakati national anthem with Kunachezo wa Kinshasa? You feel something. You feel... You feel something. You feel something. Something nice. <laughs> nice one. Great to have you. Uh, Satisana Shugare, Lankan Kuria, Amina Martha, Bonfess Mugun and Clinton Masharia are members and part of the HEAT squad that did participate in this year's Africa Boxing Championship finished in a commendable third position. Thank you so much for getting your time and speaking with us on the touchline. We hope to have you again when the next championship knocks you. you know, so you. maybe in training and just follow up on what's happening and we hope that IOC and IBA put aside their uh, political ping pong and allow the team here uh, achieve their dreams of playing at the Olympics. Meanwhile, Kenya lacrosse team is up next on the touchline, so stay with us. <laughs>